Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Jerusalem Meditation, the space that we hold monthly as a cooperative effort of the Hekal Group in Jerusalem and the 2025 Initiative. Thank you for continuously joining this invocative effort. Over to you, Uta. Hello, friends. Welcome to our Jerusalem meditation. Let's start with taking a moment to realize how we as a group are spread all over the globe. Maybe we can go through the attendees list for a moment to see our names. And uh, just realize what brings us together. We are coming together through the framework of the new group of world servers. And what links us is our shared intention to contribute something to our world. And through our awareness of our different places on earth, we bring them into relationship. So we weave this earth grid. This we are um, we are supporting the energy flow around our planet by this work. We trace lines of connection. So from wherever we are now, we bundle our awareness to, towards Jerusalem, holding this space now, assembling in Jerusalem. And Helen will give us now a brief report of some current happenings in the area of Jerusalem, Israel, Palestine. Over to you, Helen. Thank you. Hello, friends. Um, yeah, I'm talking here from Jerusalem. Um, the situation here is uh, quite a violent situation now of extreme polarization in the population. Um, the government we have now is dominated by right-wing people, extremists, um, and also by, by religious people. This is the coalition that the government has. Um, and they hurry to do all kinds of changes, drastic changes, without really consulting and without uh, um, elaborating the changes they want to do. The main topic today uh, is uh, the revolution, this uh, big change that they want to do on the judi judiciary, or they say the justice system that was so far autonomous since the country exists and um, now it is about to be subordinated to the leading government which means they the government uh, appoint judges even in the supreme court especially in the supreme court um, and it's uh, it's a real danger. The, the 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 people of the country are so aware of it that uh, thousands thousands go out in the streets now demonstrating um, against it and against other things too. That uh, maybe I'll mention very briefly afterwards. That uh, 
that uh, come from this uh, extremist, uh, extreme right wing and religious. So thousands are demonstrating in, in the street. And um, it gives uh, it gives really a, a good feeling that uh, you know people people are thinking for themselves, and those demonstrators are they come they they the first demonstrations that they had were all of us to all of them together all of us together and then the professional segments factions and. Um, and uh, uh, it's very, very potent and powerful, and it gives a lot of hope of uh, what the people, uh, you know, the people thinking, thinking by themselves. And those are people also, uh, they are also people of right wing, left wing, it really doesn't matter. They don't, um, they come and they protest for the ascension that is being disrupted and that is so dangerous for um, for the democracy of, uh, of this country. Um, yeah, so uh, minorities are, will not be protected. Um, the the the. Um, the weak, the weak ones, you know, uh, uh, would not would not be able to. Uh, the weak part of the of the society would not be able to to stand for their rights. They will just be uh, um, given uh, to uh, <laughs> to people who have uh, who have. Uh, uh, interest and and who uh, who are nominated by the government. Um, so this is what's going on. I just came back from uh, my family. I came back now from a big demonstration, and uh, and it's uh, a very good feeling to see uh, people of all ages, all beliefs. Um, they haven't seen uh, um, the minority Arabs, but uh, uh, maybe there were. But both religious, non-religious, right wing, left wing, there were there thousands and thousands and thousands in Jerusalem and in Tel Aviv too. But I'm talking now about Jerusalem. So this is uh, this is the the ambiance of the times. Um, yeah, so thank you for being and uh, participating into this meditation. Yeah, thanks Helen for taking us to Jerusalem. Of course, uh, all over the earth now, we have this high tension and this great challenge, each place in, in their own flavor, in its own flavor. Everywhere, <laughs> we are shaken and forced to stretch beyond <clears throat> our habitual spectrum of awareness. So we as a group, international group of soul aware service, we can really be of um, yeah of, of we, we can really make a difference now because the new needs to be intuited the 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 new energy needs to be focused and and brought um into overlighting into into availability for the consciousness of the of the masses that wake up now and stand up
Yeah, and here we are doing this together now for Jerusalem, connecting the soul energies of the city of peace with the outer circumstances. The personality outside and the overlighting soul, we bring them into relation. And when this energy is flowing, even only in our visualization, it can then be shared into the earth grid to join the soul energies of the other places. And then each of us can ground it wherever we are on this planet. Yeah, so let us enter now into meditation as weavers, as magicians. So let us enter into our inner silence. Letting go of all previous content, just touching base with ourselves. Sitting well in our body. Opening to the earth energies. To the loving embrace of the mother of the world. Hearts opening, mind at peace. We are a soul in incarnation, radiant. And let us bring together our radiance now, meeting in our etheric outpost in the aura of Jerusalem. Coming together like entering together a temple. Taking our places. Letting our hearts come into resonance. And our minds weave a telepathic field. We are united as souls for Jerusalem. And as a focal point in Jerusalem, 
we become aware of being part of the planetary network of world service. Let us trace these energy lines between all of us. So many light stations, each in their places. And this part of this Earth network, let us enter into resonance with our higher co-workers in the ashramic world. Get a sense of this interplay this cooperation. So we take now our position as this outpost within the aura of Jerusalem, standing at the midway point between the higher world and the outer Jerusalem below. And we tune now our hearts and minds upwards to the very high note that is overlighting Jerusalem beyond all the outer turmoil. Sense the spirit of peace overlighting the city. Let us take a few moments in silent receptivity.
refocusing at the midway point now between the higher world and Jerusalem below and bringing the high vibration with us into our group field holding it and molding it into the will to love Holding this will to love like a substance for a moment in our group. And now visualize the will to love stream into the city. becoming available to the consciousness of the citizens. See it especially fortifying all those who stand up for the human values, for justice and respect. and right relations to all. And see it stream from them further to all citizens, gradually entering and conditioning their consciousness. Raising it from separation consciousness gradually to unity consciousness. Visualize Golden Deva Builders support this process, giving direction, unifying, making whole. We affirm unity. The souls of all are one and we are one with them. We seek to love, not hate. We seek to serve and not exact due service. We seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love.
Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. Visualize a golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into the whole area of Israel-Palestine. Making hearts golden, lifting minds into unity consciousness. And see the golden wave spread further into the nations of the Middle East, unifying and reordering expanding eastwards, qualifying the etheric body of the planet as we go. We visualize a golden band connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. Tracing the band further from Darjeeling to Tokyo. further to New York. To London. Geneva. And back to Jerusalem. Visualize the unifying wave continue to flow throughout the etheric body of the planet, uniting us all. And focusing now our consciousness back into our own physical location on this planet, becoming aware of our physical location and grounding this golden unifying energy right where we are. Let us hold this golden flow in our consciousness all over the planet as we sound the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. In Ekudata O, Asher Bedat El, Isroma O, El Data Adam, Ireta O, Alpnei Ha Adama. In Ekudata Ahava, Asher Beleva El, Tisroma Ahava, Elevavot Enosh, Yashuv, More Olam, Alpnei Ha Adama. מהמרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם, תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מי 
מהמרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, תוגשם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון ויחדשו, אור, אהבה, עוצמה, את התוכנית על פני האדמה. من نقطة النور في العقل الإلهي ليشاع النور في عقول الناس وليهبط النور إلى الأرض من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندعون بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out. and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth.
Thank you, friends, for this work together. We have time now for some sharing of impressions. Please raise your hand if you wish to speak. Thank you, Uta, Helen, Alexander. This is Margot from Canada. The cry of Jerusalem is heard. Legions of new forces of light gathering to meet the need a unifying central figure or group emerging to lead the forces of light. This is creating a further invocation, bringing forth even greater beings. I registered the will to good as well as the will to love. Fiery arrows lightning entered the citizens awakening them as if from a dream. Devas working on the ground, their kingdom working alongside the human. Love beginning to grow and express through people's hearts. Thought forms evolving. Light lines connecting planetary centers strengthened and brightened. Unity being created and creating in turn. I'd like to thank those who are going to share their impressions for remembering to speak slowly so we can catch every word that you say. Thank you. I would like to share, this is Helen. I would like to share that both the meditation and your sharing, Margot, are so complimentary. And uh, my heart feels soothed right now. Um, in the midst of this noise and turmoil, I really feel the, this golden energy that uh, comes down from our guides and it reaches my heart. Thank you.
Today we introduced a new element in the meditation, um, bringing ourselves back into our own locations and thereby um, tracing a bit more concretely our interconnections between the different places we, where we are located. Um, that for me, this was, uh, this was really a, um, a stabilizing experience of, as if we together, of course, as representatives of the wider group, if we together hold this planet, the crisis is planetary. Our focus here is Jerusalem, but um, actually it's a planetary crisis and, um, and each one of us is called to do what we can in our specific place to, to be an anchor for this golden energy that weaves us all together. So I would be very interested in hearing what this did in you, this new element, this new, yeah, this new way for this meditation. Yeah, Uta, you called those light stations, yeah, in the meditation. Each one of us has a light station in their places. Oh. This is mm -hmm. Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Uta. Thank you so much. And Alexander and Helen, it was a beautiful meditation. And it, I, that ending part was very significant to me because in my visualization, it took sort of the same courses that I remember as we do this every month. But when you had that golden light ground in our environment it took on this arrow m much like it sort of perked my interest when margo mentioned golden arrow because it just crashed and shattered into the earth where i am right now and its response the earth's response was to create this internal network that suddenly it was a wave it suddenly was right below the surface of the earth there was a golden globe that was created from that golden energy. And what was so extraordinary, and I even heard sort of in Helen when she was talking about how it came into her heart. And I almost wasn't going to share this, because, but when you suggested it, to, to me, it was the influence of this golden energy into our feet and into the feet of every single being. And, and into every single kingdom on the earth, because now roots and hoofs and paws and feet that are walking on the earth were being influenced by that golden energy that was just below the surface of the earth. And it enabled that to penetrate everything at its most immediate and central point it, it was a coming up from the earth, as opposed to what I usually find in this and in other meditations, it coming down to us all. And there was something that was very powerful about that. So thank you for adding that. It was very powerful. Mm. Andrea, this is matching what my sense also was. I, I didn't uh, 
I didn't want to bring in one more element in in the meditation outline, but um, I also had this sense in when when we linked with the spirit of peace overlighting the city. I also at the same time uh, uh, sensed the the energy coming from the earth up. Yeah, and standing there, having this sense of us as a group, really connecting heaven and earth and letting it, allowing it or contributing to, to that um, stream from both sides, to this kind of continuity, spirit and matter meet. It, it is the seventh ray. That's what I feel in it. But it also is, a, it, it is the Taurus. It, it is that cyclical mm -hmm. energy that is coming from above and down, downward yeah. and outward and inward and upward, which I really think that it, it, it makes it not stagnant. It makes it a, a true circulatory force, which we know it is. Mm -hmm. And now we can sense it better, right? It becomes real in our experience. We become part of it. Um, thank you for bringing that element, Uta, into the meditation. Um, or I would rather say, like, giving the voice uh, for that action. For me, for um, already uh, quite a long time, it's been a recognition of the value of this meditation because it's not just a meditation for Jerusalem. Uh, it's coming together in the space of Jerusalem and invoking the spirit of peace, calling for that archetypical energy of peace coming through this eternal city of peace or, or as an archetype of the city of the peace and distributing it around the world because yeah it's uh, well, we all live in the one big village uh, global village and we uh, by invoking that energy coming through Jerusalem, we work for uh, to anchor it where, where we are. And mm -hmm. in a way, that's the essence of uh, this and other meditative services that we participate in by invoking together, but we distribute and it's our responsibility to anchor where we are and distribute it. And, that's the value of being part of this global network of world service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing that comes to me, sorry to just come back, but is is that when we anchor it into the earth, we really invoke the mother of the world. We we bring her presence and her presence, which is all substance and her presence, which is the mother of the David kingdom mm -hmm. into into our intention. And I think it's so important. I think that is a really important part of what we will progress into in the Aquarian age, that, that she is invoked and that we are recognizing her and, and connecting with a very important part of that flowing energy. Right. Yeah working together with the David Kingdom. Um, Elisabetta from Italy. Hi, Elisabetta. Yeah. All the way through the meditation, 
I have been sensing this uh, template of perfection that already exists to which we can attune, we can invoke to pour through the entire planet, trusting that whatever has to be destroyed will be destroyed and that the energy of synthesis will create the basis for a new world order. And so for me, it's really trusting the working out of the template of perfection that already exists and that governs all universes, not just our planet. And to be conscious of this and then to invoke it all the time and to be part of it, like a temple. So template is a temple. Hmm pouring down and uh, and my feeling now is that this is working because we are invoking it and because we recognize we are part of this healing process mm. for the planet and for Jerusalem of course yeah so I wanted to bring uh, the template of perfection and the energies of synthesis. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Template as a temple, very interesting. Mm. Yeah, okay. Anyone else would like to add something before we close? So it seems we are complete. Alexander, would you like to Make any announcements? Want to invite uh, you to join the meditation for common good. Uh, in our monthly cycle, we will use, we are using the new moon period to formulate and meditate on the seed thoughts magnetizing them and radiating them to humanity so it will be happening tomorrow the same time please join us and you can find the link on our website okay so thank you again, blessings, let the golden light continue to flow and see you next month. Bye-bye. <laughs>